Another proposal that caught my eye at TPAC is one that would reduce the amount of JavaScript you need for view transitions. Like cross-document view transitions let you perform transitions between pages with zero JavaScript. But take this example. If I go from this index of cats to a page about an individual cat, that's one transition. And if I go back to the index, that's a different transition. Like, it's kind of the reverse, although not exactly the reverse due to how the easing works. If I go to a page about an individual cat, then click a link that takes me to a page about another cat, that's yet another different transition. In order to perform different types of transitions depending on the source and destination page, you currently need to use JavaScript to look at the navigation and set the view transition type. But the proposal at TPAC was to allow you to define routes in CSS using URL patterns. Then you can define CSS rules that only apply on particular routes, or in the case of view transitions, rules that apply during navigations from one route to another. This proposal is being driven by Google, but it's something we're giving feedback on to ensure it meets developer use cases. I, one thing I'm pushing for is a way to tell the difference between back button traversals versus other navigations. Like the transition between the cat page and the cat index, that will always be the same, as will the transition between the cat index and the cat page, because these two pages have a parent-child hierarchy. And in UX terms, that seems to dictate the type of transition. But if I navigate from one cat page to another, like these pages are siblings in the hierarchy. Uh, these two cats are also siblings, but that doesn't matter. Because the transition has this sideways motion, if the user presses the back button, it looks weird to use the same transition. Like it feels more natural if it runs in the opposite direction. So I'm pushing for something like this. So you can tweak the animation in that case. And folks seem happy with that idea. So we'll see where it goes. All right, that's the last of my videos on TPAC. I hope you enjoyed them. I mean, I had a great time hanging out with friends and colleagues doing some serious web standards work. Bye.